What's up guys? Wednesday, April 22nd. Here's your workout. Side note, riding on a piece of styrofoam with a Sharpie is really difficult. Here's what we got. At the zero minute mark, you are going to start with 21 regular burpees. Then you'll go into one round of dumbbell DT. 18 burpees, DT, 15 DT, 12 DT. At the 10 minute mark, you're going to start the second half of your workout, which is the same rep scheme, but instead of burpees for your 21, 18, 15, 12, you're going to do air squats over your dumbbell. DT, of course, is 12. Okay, I'm back. 12 deadlifts, followed by nine hang power cleans, followed by six push jerks. Lots of variations for this workout today, depending on the equipment that you have. So I'll show you what that looks like. Real quick, there is a one minute mandatory rest. So if you are, say on this round of DT, and the clock strikes nine minutes, you're gonna get one minute of rest. And then at the 10 minute mark, you're gonna start the second half of the workout. Your score is total time from the part A and part B. So if this takes you five minutes and this takes you 10, the score is 15 minutes. If you get time capped here at nine minutes and that takes you 20, your score is 29 minutes. All right, here's what those movements are gonna look like as well as uh, several different options depending on the equipment that you have on hand. So first, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna hit 21 burpees. You guys know the drill here. Thighs and chest, touch the ground. Hop up, jump, clap, a little bit of air underneath your feet. After I get my 21 burpees, I'm gonna go into that one round of DT. The standard for this version is to use two dumbbells. The dumbbell should be a weight, but you could do the power cleans, the hang power cleans, and the push jerks unbroken. So what it's gonna look like is I'm gonna start with my deadlifts. I'm gonna get 12 deadlifts. It makes a lot of sense to stop at deadlift 11, take your break there, pick your dumbbells back up, that counts as deadlift number 12, and then start on your power cleans. Similar with this, it makes sense to take your break on rep number eight, pick them back up, deadlift them up all the way, get that ninth power clean, and then take that into your six push jerks. Some other options for the versions of DT. If your dumbbell is too heavy, like this sucker, reduce your reps to 963, something like that. If you only have one dumbbell and it's a manageable weight, a couple ways to do this. First is you can keep the same rep scheme, in which case you'll get six deadlifts on one side, six on the other. And for your power cleans, you're going to do Russian. Sorry, there's a tornado. Nine Russian kettlebell swings holding one end of the dumbbell. And then for your push jerks, you'll just hold that dumbbell on either end. Another option with a single dumbbell is to do a rep scheme of 12, 10, 8, alternating right side, left side, right side, left side. So right side does half the reps, left side does half the reps. 12, 10, 8 rep scheme. One more option object. We're going to try to keep the same rep scheme on that. 12 deadlifts, 9 10 power cleans, 6 push jerks. For the second half of the workout, the air squat hop overs. It's a pretty simple movement. It's just going to be an air squat, hip crease below the kneecap. As you come up, you're going to use your big, strong muscles, glutes, quads to propel you over your dumbbell laterally. Each hop counts as one rep. Have fun, get after it. It's a fun workout. I did it yesterday. It was challenging, so be ready to push hard, work hard. See you next time.